What is up guys, Snowshoe here, and welcome to the video you guys have all been waiting for. This is the team selection for the Snow Cup. Are you guys excited? I'm very excited. Before we get started here, I wanted to say thank you to all of you guys. We have 33 entrants. That's more than I thought would happen, obviously, because I only had 32 spots for the contest. Uh, I was about to shut it down, but we stopped at 33, so I think I can make do with that. Now, the way it's going to work, if you guys remember the Snow Madness competition, what I did was I randomized it in random.org, which I'll show you at the end of the video if you care to see the proof of the randomization. I randomized the list of contestants, which is you guys, and the list of teams, which is the teams in the World Cup, the countries. And then I stuck those two random lists together, and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to reveal them one by one. I've chosen to do it in Excel because I could think of an easy, quick way to do it. And it's going to be live to me as well, so I don't even know who the teams are right now. So I'm going to find out as you guys find out. And I'll try to give you a tiny bit of background, hopefully nothing too boring. I'm trying to go through them pretty quick. Uh, some fun facts, and also I know the nicknames to each of the teams. I've got them written down, so that'll be a fun little fact about your team that you'll get to know. And then tomorrow, which is Thursday for me, it might be Thursday for you already, the World Cup is gonna start and we are gonna be ready to roll with Brazil versus Croatia in the first game. Again, check the previous video, I've got a link to the schedule for the World Cup, and you can see when all the games are. So with that, let's go into Excel here and we will get started. All right, guys. Now, one more note. Remember, we have 33 teams and only 32 nations. I guess I should say 33 contestants and 32 teams. So the way I had to do it is I'm going to double up the first team that we have. So whatever team gets pulled first is also going to be the team for the 33rd contestant. So the, the first and the last contestant are going to share a team. And I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope that that team doesn't win. If they do win, I will give you both a prize. I'll figure it out. No big deal. But uh, I'm going to hedge my bets here. Um, hopefully it's not a good team for my sake, but who knows. I guess we'll see right off the bat here. So with that, let's see how this is going to go. I'm just going to click on Contestant here and drag this down. Lord of RS60. So you guys can see how this is going to work in Excel. I've got the list of contestants on this tab, list of teams on this tab, and I'm going to reveal them one by one. So Lord of RS60 and also the 33rd contestant, which we'll reveal later, have drawn... Germany, are you kidding me? Oh man, Germany is a very, very good team. One of the most stacked teams in the tournament. Prob they're ranked number four in the power rankings I checked out. They have tons of firepower, man. They have a guy named Jerome Boateng in on defense as well as great midfielders and probably my favorite name in the competition, Bastian Schweinsteiger. They have a ton of great players and honestly, they have a really good chance of winning the World Cup. So that also means I have a really good chance of giving away two Steam games. We'll see. That's a good draw for you, Lord of RS60. And, oh yeah, I forgot to... St I'm going to say the nicknames of all these, aren't I? So Germany is known as... Oh, my German's not very good. Die Mannschaft, which I think means the team. None of these are very creative. Uh, they're in their different languages, so they sound kind of cool. But next up, we have... It's either the Thestbone or the Sbone 92. And he has the team... Bosnia and Herzegovina. I know a little bit about Bosnia, but I don't know anything about Herzegovina, and little did I know that those nations are married. So just a little bit about Bosnia and Herzegovina. They are the 17th ranked team in the tournament. They're in a group with Argentina, Nigeria, and Iran. And really, they have a pretty good chance of making it to the round of 16, which is really what you guys want to do. All of these, if you are in the round of 16, the tournament round, then you're in the top half of the competition, which is pretty good. And anything can happen once you get into that tournament round. They have a guy that everybody is afraid of named Edan Dzeko. I have no idea how to say that. It's D-Z-E-K-O. He's a world-class goal scorer. And uh, I can tell you right now, the guys from Argentina are really looking out for him to see if they're going to be able to win that game. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, so Bosnia and Herzegovina's nickname is Djemiv... <laughs> These are going to be hilarious because I can't say any of them. Zmavjevi, which also means dragons in Bosnia or whatever language they speak. The next team up is... The next contestant is Rexonite. He requested Mexico. Let's see what happens. Cameroon. Cameroon, one of the African nations, probably the second or third best African nation. They have a, I think their ranking is pretty low on the power rankings, but we'll see. They're ranked number 28. They're in a group with Brazil, Mexico, and Croatia. 
so they have an okay chance to make it. They're going to have to beat Mexico, which is pretty funny. Now that I think about it, Rex won in Mexico, and he's going to have to beat his own team to continue in the Snow Cup. Now, Cameroon has both my favorite player in the competition and Samuel Eto'o, because he plays for Chelsea, which is my favorite team. And they have my favorite nickname. Their nickname, listen to this, the Indomitable Lions. Is that not amazing? That's amazing. Next up, Dark Ninja. Dark Ninja has received France. Ooh, very good draw. France, otherwise known as Le Bleu, or Les Blues, if you speak with an American accent like me. But I say Le Bleu because it's a lot more fun. They actually have one of their best players, Frank Ribery, is out, but it's okay. They have a lot of other talent. Now, France is ranked number 11 in this competition in the power rankings. They're in a group with Switzerland, Honduras, and Ecuador, which is a pretty easy group, I think. Uh, so they have a very good chance to make it to the next round and probably to even move into the quarterfinals and we'll see who they have to play. There's a chance they can play their longtime rival England. That should be fun. Number five, we've got General Tuber Gaiman. He has received Portugal. Ooh, another good team. We're getting a lot of good teams off the bat here. Portugal is... I'm going to cheer against Portugal because they're in a group with the United States. Uh, they're ranked number 10 in the competition in Group G with also Germany the United States, and Ghana. So they're very likely to make it into the competition just because they're ranked number 10. They're so good. They have probably the best goal scorer in the competition in Cristiano Ronaldo. They're also known as Silasau. I think that's how you say that. And it's, it's, it's Portuguese, which is good luck, right? Silasau das Quinas. And that means the selection of the shield, I think. Don't quote me on that. I think that's right. I looked it up a long time ago. Next up, we have Nepertuit. Nepertuit has received Honduras. Now, unfortunately for you, Nepertuit, Honduras in the power rankings is the last place team. But they do have a chance here because their group is not that great. They're with France, Ecuador, and Switzerland. Uh, but we may be seeing you in the consolation round if I had to bet on it. So I'm sorry, buddy, but let's see if you can pull out some magic. Their nickname is Las Catrachos, named after one of their famous politicians who ended a revolution of slavery kind of cool. Next up we have Lackhand911. He has received, uh oh, there we go. Chile, Chile, number nine team in the competition are in a very, very tough group. They're, even though they're the number nine team, they're still not guaranteed to make it into the tournament round because they have Spain, the Netherlands, and Australia in their group. Spain and the Netherlands are two very, very good teams. And one of Chile's best players, Arturo Vidal, is not sure if he's going to be ready for the competition. Chile is known as La Roja because of their red uniforms. So pretty cool. Chile, that's a country I want to visit. Number eight is the Rubinator. The Rubinator has been matched up with Algeria, another African nation. Algeria is in Group H, ranked number 27. They're in a group with Belgium, Russia, South Korea. Their chances are okay because that group is not very good either. The game against Russia, Russia and Algeria is the one you're going to have to look for there um, to see if Algeria is going to be able to move on. That's going to be a crucial game for them. Their nickname is Le Fenec. <laughs> I, I don't know if I said that right. It's L-E-S-F-E-N-N-E-C-S, -E 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 and that means the foxes, and I believe it's French. Not sure about that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, next up, we have number nine, Matt Morley. Matt Morley has received Italy, Ooh, one of the most controversial teams in the tournament. One year they're up, one year they're down. They're definitely one of the most talented teams, but they have to learn to play as a team. They have some of the most talented players in the world. Andrea Pirlo has been, I think he's like 37 years old, uh, one of the best forwards in the world in Mario Balotelli, but he's a head case, man. We'll see. They can pull it together and they can make a deep run. I would not blame you for betting on them. They're ranked number five in the tournament, if that tells you anything, so they have a very good chance to make it deep in the tournament, maybe even win the whole thing. They're in one of the toughest groups, though, with Uruguay, England, and Costa Rica. But they should advance to the next round, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them go further. Italy is known as Azzurri, which is, I'm assuming, Italian for blue-ish. <laughs> Number 10 is a million monkeys. A million monkeys has received Switzerland, a team I don't know very much about. Uh, I don't know very much about some of the smaller European teams, but they're in the group with France, Ecuador, and Honduras which is kind of a tough group for them, but they have a decent chance of coming out of it. Um, Ecuador and Honduras are teams that they're definitely going to have to beat. Like I said, Honduras is not ranked very high, but if they can beat Ecuador, then they have a very good chance of coming out of this group. They have a player named Shakiri, who you really have to look out for. He's going to be very good for them. And their nickname is La Nati, which probably means the national. 
And number 11, we have Asian Piano 405. He has received Uruguay. Ooh, speaking of Uruguay, like I said in Group D, ranked number six in the world. Oh, I didn't tell you what these guys were ranked, did I? Italy was ranked number five. I told you that. I think Switzerland is ranked number 14, so a pretty decent chance. Uruguay is ranked number six. Group D again with England, Italy, and Costa Rica. It's going to be tough for them to make it out of this group, though, but they should be able to make it out. Uh, like I said, Italy looks pretty good in that group. Now, Uruguay is going to have to make it past England to see if they can make it into the next round. Going to be very interesting. They have some of the best scores in the world in Luis Suarez and Diego Forlan. Luis Suarez is coming off of a knee surgery, though, so we'll see if he's fit to play. Their name is La Celeste, which is, or I guess it's La Celeste which is Spanish for a light blue color. If you notice, a lot of these teams name their nicknames off of their uniform colors in their language. Pretty interesting. Number 12, we have Mr. Rapids. Mr. Rapids has my favorite team besides the United States, the Netherlands, La Aranya. One of the best fan bases in the World Cup, but they don't have a great ranking, as, at least as great as I thought. They're number 13. I thought they'd be a lot higher this year. I think they deserve to be, so I'm not going to count them out. They're in a very tough group with Spain, Chile, and Ar Australia. I'm sorry, not Argentina. Spain, Chile, and Australia. So they definitely have to beat Chile in that game. Uh, I don't think they're going to get past Spain, but they have a very good chance if they can outwit Chile. So they should make it on. Some of my favorite players from there are Wesley Snyder, Nigel de Jong, Robin Van Persie, and they even have Iron Robin, who I think is also like 35 years old. Uh, some of these older guys are very, very good for your team, especially if they've been in the World Cup before. At number 13, we have Sylvan Blood. Sylvan Blood has drawn Mexico. Like I said earlier, Mexico is going to have to beat Cameroon and Croatia to get into the tournament. They're not going to beat Brazil. Those are the three teams in their group. They're not going to make it past Brazil, so they need wins or ties, a good result against Cameroon and Croatia. But they should make it in. They have a pretty good chance. Those three teams are very evenly matched, though, so it's going to be a bitter fight to the end. Mexico is ranked number 23, which also may be a little bit low. I don't know. I disagree with some of these rankings, but the people who made them are probably a little bit smarter than me. We'll see. Uh, they have Rafa Marquez. Unfortunately, Rafa Marquez is out with an injury. He's one of the oldest players in the tournament, I think, uh, and definitely a longtime World Cup member. But he has an injury. But instead, they have Chicharito, one of the coolest names, and Giovanni Dos Santos leading the charge for them. It's going to be very interesting. Their nickname is El Tri for the three colors on their flags. Next up, number 14, is Zuria, a notable Canadian. Zuria has drawn Australia. Very interesting. Australia is ranked number 31, the second to last team in this competition, unfortunately. Even though they're like basically a continent in and of themselves, apparently they can't find any good football players over there. So Australia is in a very tough group, like I said earlier. They're with Spain, the Netherlands, and Chile. Honestly, I can't see them even tying any of those games. They should probably lose everyone. So Zuria, I think your best bet is going to be in the consolation round. But let's see if you can pull out an upset here. Australia's nickname, one of the coolest nicknames also, they are the Socceroos. <laughs> Next up, we have Arctic Does Minecraft at number 15. He has drawn Croatia, another interesting team. Croatia is going to be playing tomorrow or Thursday, June 12th, in the very first game against Brazil. So that means they have Brazil in their group. They also have Mexico and the Cameroon. That is the group that's going to be very close to see who else besides Brazil comes out of it. I have no idea, guys. It's going to be that's going to be a very very tough one. And Croatia's nickname is Vatrini, which means Blazers. <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but it means Blazers. So they are the Blazers, I guess. Next up, number 16, we have Vostis. That sounds like a Russian. I guess we've already given away Russia, haven't we? Did we? No. Let's see if this is Russian. Ah, Greece. Greece is a pretty good team. They have a tough draw. They have the Ivory Coast and Colombia and also Japan in their group. So they might be the worst team in their group, but we'll see if they can pull it out. They always seem to play a little bit better than I think they're going to, but they historically have not had a great showing at the World Cup. They have at other tournaments, though. Uh, Greece is ranked number 25 in the power rankings. Uh, did I tell you that Croatia? Croatia is ranked number 15 in the power rankings. Um, Greece is known as Ethniki which I think means national team in Greek. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just guessing at this point. No, I'm just kidding. I looked up all these and some of them are right, most of them are right. Number 17, Sky Divisor. 
Sky Divisor has received the United States. Dun dun dun! That's who I'm gonna be cheering for. Unfortunately, Sky Divisor, United States is only ranked number 20, and they're in probably the hardest group in the tournament, in my opinion. They have to beat out either Germany or Portugal, and they also have a tough team in Ghana. Ghana eliminated them last World Cup, so there's some bitter feelings there. Uh, they don't have a great chance to move on, unfortunately, but I'm going to be pulling hard for them. They've got Clint Dempsey, Michael Bradley, and one of the best goalies in Tim Howard. It's going to be great to watch them. Uh, definitely going to have a lot of heart going on there. This is the only team in the tournament that does not have an official nickname, but supposedly our nickname is the Yanks, which, yeah, I don't know about that one. Next up, number 18, W33 Bailey. Unfortunately, Bailey, Scotland is not in the tournament, but instead you have received England. <laughs> Very interesting. Bailey has received England, huh? England has a decent chance to make it in, honestly, but they're in a tough group with Uruguay, Italy, and Costa Rica, so they're going to have to be either Uruguay or Italy. Italy, like I said, could fall flat on their face. Now, England is notorious for falling in penalty kicks. So if they make it into the tournament round and they go to penalty kicks, there's not a great chance they're going to win. They're ranked number 12 in the World Cup right now, and they have one of the best players in the world in Wayne Rooney. I think he's the highest paid player, if I'm not mistaken. He might not be anymore. That changes all the time. But they do have one of the coolest nicknames, I think. It's the Three Lions, and that's based on their royal family crest. It's got three lions on it, so they are the three lions. Pretty cool. Number 19, Matt, aka Slash, the M and Dim guys. Matt has received South Korea. South Korea is one of the biggest momentum teams in the tournament. They actually did come in fourth in the World Cup in 2002, and they were the hosts. Uh, they held some of the games in Japan, but they were primarily the host. So they had a very good showing there, and they definitely have a lot of talent there. They're ranked number 26 in the tournament, so they don't have too much optimism going for them, but the nation as a whole has a great fan base. They're in a group with Belgium, Russia, and Algeria. It's not a great group, honestly. I don't think they're going to beat out Belgium, but Russia and Algeria are both not very strong, so there's a chance South Korea could pull ahead. They're known as the Taeguk Warriors. Taeguk is a word that is representative of the symbol on the flag of South Korea. It's also the symbol on the yin yang, that kind of swirly, wavy symbol, you know what I'm talking about? So they are the Taeguk Warriors. Number 20, we have the King Rhodes. The King Rhodes, longtime brewer of my channel. Thank you for entering the contest. He brought a lot of his friends here too, so if you're a friend of the King Rhodes, that's how I know you. He's gotten Costa Rica. Unfortunately, King Rhodes, Costa Rica is number 29 in the tournament, and they're in a tough group. I would be surprised if they were to win a game, honestly. They're in a group with England, Uruguay, and Italy. Uh, definitely not a good chance to move on to the next round, so you may hold out your hope for the consolation round here. But they do have a pretty cool name. They are known as Los Ticos, because apparently that's a short name for people from Costa Rica. Interesting enough. Number 21, Drusen of the 43, the D and Dim guys. He has, oh no, how did this happen? Drew has drawn the best team in the tournament, Brazil. Not only the host nation, but the number one ranked team in the tournament in a group with Mexico, Cameroon, and Croatia. They play on Thursday because the host team always plays the first game. So they're going to have home field advantage for every single game of the tournament. They have a great chance to win, and they're the popular pick. They're known as Selesao, uh, and they have a couple of the best players in the world but I did want to mention aside from the fact that they're the best team in the tournament probably they have some of the best names in the tournament if you watch the game you'll notice so first they have Neymar who's one of the best players in the world the cool thing about Brazil is that they all go by one name for the most part so they have Neymar who's a good player you'll see him a lot next up they have Fred <laughs> and then they have Oscar and my personal favorite if you look on the back of this guy's jersey I swear to you it says it his name is Hulk. Yes, that's right. They have Hulk on their team. No wonder they're really good. Brazil for you, Drew. I hate you. Number 22, Bailey Payne. Bailey Payne is a big football fan. We talk football all the time. He is drawn. Argentina, great team for Bailey. And you know what? We actually had a conversation the other day, and we said, 
we don't think any of the European teams are going to win because it's very hard for a European team to come into South America and take the trophy. Now the only other team besides Brazil that has a chance of winning from South America is probably Argentina. Uruguay has a pretty good chance, but Argentina definitely has the second best chance. So Bailey's definitely happy about that, I can guarantee you. They're the number two ranked team in the tournament with a very easy group. They have Nigeria, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Iran. They should breeze through that group. I'd be surprised if they didn't win every single game there. They have one of the best players in the tournament in Lionel Messi, but he hasn't had such good luck in the World Cup. We'll see if this time he can finally break out. Argentina is known as Las Albiceleste, which is similar to the Uruguayan name of Las Celeste, but this is the sky blue and white. It's white mixed with sky blue, Albi Celeste. Cool enough, right? Number 23, is your name up here yet? If not, then you're getting close. Number 23, we have Daughter. Daughter, there's no Iceland in this tournament, so let's see who you get. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That's pretty crazy. Daughter's favorite country is Japan, I'm pretty sure, and if it's not, then you need to tell me because she talks about Japan all the time. That is a crazy twist of fate right there. Japan is the number 16th ranked team in this tournament, so they have a pretty darn good shot of making it to the next round. They're in a group with the Ivory Coast, Colombia, and Greece. Now, all three of those teams, except for Greece, probably have a pretty equal chance of making it to the next round. So it's going to be interesting to see which one of them gets left off. They're going to have to play three good games against their teams. Japan is known as the Samurai Blue which is a pretty cool name, pretty self-explanatory, but they wear blue jerseys even though there's no blue in their flag. Interesting fact. Number 24, Ian Morley. Ian Morley has drawn, uh oh, I didn't do that right. <laughs> Excel sometimes, not good. Belgium, Belgium's a very interesting team actually, one of the few European teams that has a chance, I think, honestly, they might be a dark horse in this tournament. Number eight in the rankings, they're in a pretty easy group. They should come out of it very easily with Algeria, Russia, and South Korea, so I can see them making the tournament pretty easily. Belgium is known as the Red Devils for no other fact than somebody decided they were a devilish team. I don't know. I'll send, I'll put the link in the description uh, so you guys can look at where I'm getting all of these facts about the team names. Pretty interesting. Number 25, we have Nosnitz Production, another longtime subscriber. Good to see you here. He has drawn Ecuador. Ecuador, are they mid-American? I, I, I get my Central American and South American teams confused. I'm sorry, guys. I think they're South American. Ecuador is ranked number 24 in the tournament. They're in a group with France, Switzerland, and Honduras. I don't know if they're going to make it to the tournament. They're going to have to have a strong showing to make it that far. Ecuador is known as La Tricolor because they have three colors on their flags. Another interesting fact there. 26 CTB 98600. I think he might be a robot. CTB has gotten Iran. Iran is the number 30 team in the competition. Unfortunately, Iran's country has been plagued with political issues, so they don't exactly have the most funding or time to go out and get soccer players right now, so it's not looking like they're going to do very well in this tournament. They are in a pretty easy group though with Argentina, Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Nigeria, so they have to have strong showings against Bosnia and Herzegovina. I can't even say that anymore, guys. In Nigeria, Iran is known as Team Meli, which means national team in Iranian. Is that, a, is that a language? I think it's Farsi, possibly. <laughs> Number 27, somebody really hates me for that, is Citro98. Citro? 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 And Citro has drawn Spain. Very, very, very good team here. Spain is ranked number three in this, which is interesting. I thought they would be number two behind Brazil, but Argentina stole it in the power rankings. Spain is in a very tough group with the Netherlands, Chile, and Australia. They could have trouble with the Netherlands and Chile, although I don't see that happening. Um, but it is a very tough group, so somebody's going to have to get kicked out of that top three. It's going to be interesting to see who it is, but I wouldn't be surprised if Spain goes undefeated in that round. Spain should make it very far into the tournament. I would expect to see them in the final four, if not the final game. Spain is also known as La, Fur La Furia Roja, similar to Chile, La Roja. Spain is a very interesting team to watch. They do a lot of passing, they play the game correctly, and their team is just loaded with talent. Defense, midfield, forward, it's crazy how many good players they have on that team. Some of the best players in the world, one of my favorite players in the world, and Andres Iniesta. Some of the best goal scorers in the world, some of the best goalkeeping in the world, it's just crazy. Every single position on the field, Spain has a great player. Very, very good team for you to pick there, Citro. 
Number 28, Anthony Morico. Anthony Morico has drawn Ghana. Very interesting. Ghana, otherwise known as the Black Stars for the Black Star on their flag. Ghana is ranked number 18 in the tournament. They're in a group with Germany, Portugal, and the United States. Like I said, they took out the United States in the last World Cup, so it should be very interesting to see what they do this time. They have some really great attacking players, so Ghana's a lot of fun to watch. I really like watching all the African teams. They have a different style than the rest of the world. Uh, they're very athletic, very fun to watch run up and down the field, so it's definitely Definitely going to be a lot of fun to watch that team go. Number 29, we have King Velasquez. One of my favorite teams is still on the board. We'll see if it's this one. No, it's not. King Velasquez has gotten Russia. Russia is ranked number 21 in this World Cup. They are in a group with Belgium, Algeria, and South Korea. They're known as Spornaya, which I have no idea what that means. They have a pretty good player in Shirokov. You'll get to see Shirokov a lot. Russia has a pretty weak group, so I think they should make it out. Uh, they have to be Algeria and South Korea. They'll probably fall to Belgium, but they have a very good chance to be number two in their group and make it to the tournament stage. So number 30, JR Beer 717. I think this is it. I think this is my favorite, one of my favorite teams. It is Ivory Coast. I love the Ivory Coast. I love watching them play. They have some of my favorite players in the world in Didier Drogba, Gervinho, Kalu, Yaya Toure. They're an amazing front four, just completely stacked with athleticism and strength. A lot of fun to watch, should score a lot of goals up and down the field very quickly. We'll see if they can make it out though. They have them ranked at number 22, probably my biggest disagreement of the tournament. I don't think Ivory Coast should be ranked that low. I think they have a very good chance to move on, but they are in a tougher group with Colombia, Greece, and Japan. They have to beat all three of them, have good showings against all three of them at least. Uh, Japan and Colombia could pose a threat to them, but I think they have a good chance to go far in the tournament. I'm not sure what their tournament draw looks like, so we'll have to check that out later whenever they get to the tournament stage, hopefully. Number 31, Spectech Gaming. Spectech Gaming has gotten Colombia. Colombia is a pretty good team, ranked number 7 in the tournament. They're in a group with, like I said, Ivory Coast, Greece, and Japan. I think they should make it out, but you know what, just looking at that group, it's another group where we have the Ivory Coast, Japan, and Colombia. One of them's going to get eliminated, and I couldn't tell you who it is. Now, I forgot to tell you Ivory Coast nickname. Probably mm, top top three favorite nicknames, Le Elephant, which is the elephants. But Ivory Coast speaks French. Interesting fact. Colombia is has another pretty cool nickname. They are Los Cafeteros, which is the coffee drinkers in English. But like I said earlier, the South American teams have an advantage in South America, so they have a pretty distinct chance of making it into the round of 16, and they may even move past depending on their draw. We'll see. Number 32, Ali likes Minecraft, one of my good friends and notable football fan. Ali has gotten the last team in the tournament. Do you know who it is yet? I do. It's Nigeria. Nigeria, one of my favorite nicknames in the tournament. They are the Super Eagles. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's pretty cool. Nigeria actually has a pretty good chance to move on into the next round because their group is pretty weak. They're ranked number 19 in the World Cup, and they're in a group with Argentina, Bosnia-Herzegovina, and Iran. So as long as they can stay on top of Bosnia-Herzegovina and take care of business against Iran, they should move into the next round. And it'll be interesting to see if they make it even further than that. So, Ali, good luck to you. I'll be pulling for you, buddy. Number 33, you know who this is if it's you. It's the Torch. Now, that means the Torch that you have Germany also. So we'll take this right here and put it right down here for you. Well, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> Let me do a little formatting on this. There we go. There you go, the torch. You have Germany, a great team. It's up to you guys to see if I'm gonna have to give away two grand prizes. I'm thinking there's a pretty darn good chance. Germany's a great team. I already told you a little bit about them. So I hope that you guys are all excited about this. If you don't have a great team, it's okay as long as they don't make it into the next round. If they do make it into the next round, that's great for you, but if they don't, like I said, you can still make it into the consolation round, in which case you'll get a consolation team and then be entered to win the consolation prize of a $30 Steam game. So there you go, guys. Those are your teams. I'm going to create a scoreboard that I'm constantly updating for the World Cup with your guys' names on it as well as your teams, and you'll be able to check out the progress of your teams on there. I'll tweet out that link and I'll also put it in the video description when I get it done. So be sure to check on that as the World Cup continues, and I will make another video whenever we're done with the group stage. 
Um, like I said, follow me on Twitter if you guys want to see updates or trash talk or whatever is going to happen that's going to happen on Twitter. You can follow me at the snowshoe for that. So until next time, guys, I will see you all later and have a great day.